Welcome back to Stormworks Unlimited. This is Tater. Today we're going to take the uh, Waffen Traeger E100 out for a ride. Stay tuned. All right, you guys. So uh, let's talk about the Waffen Traeger. Um, this is a tank from a different game I play. It's called uh, World of Tanks. If you don't know what that is, uh, it's kind of a free-to-play tank game. Of course, I didn't detail any interior because you guys know me and I don't. But um, let's start this thing up. So it's made to have a driver and a gunner, but um, we can actually drive it from the gunner seat as well. Um, so if you play multiplayer, you can have two guys in it or just one guy if you want to. But um, anyway, it's a fictional tank was never actually completed um, during World War II the Germans had made essentially plywood versions of it and uh, at least from what I read on it and that's how they kind of came up with the idea for World of Tanks um, as you can see it uh, does tank things quite well forward backwards left right just can sit and spin on a dime but uh, the thing about it, if you haven't played the game, you won't know this. But if you have, you know that this contains, at least originally, it was a six-round autoloader in the game. And then you had to reload the magazine. But um, I went ahead and tried to accomplish that in this game. Um, it has six rounds that sit there. You can fire those six. Then it takes about 20 seconds-ish to load six more into it. So I thought it was kind of fun just to do that. Um, it also has uh, some gun sights and whatnot on it. But anyway, we have a long journey ahead, so I'm going to fast forward to when I get closer. And uh, of course, that's really far away, or a really slow tank. So I'll uh, we'll see you guys there in a bit. And hopefully, I don't just instantly get murked by these dudes. So stay tuned. So I made it onto the bridge here, and as you guys can see, this tank is absolutely massive. And it, uh, one of those kind of like, you can't really like, keep your eyes off the road type of things. Um, oh, somebody's shooting at me. Oh, I see you, you little turd. Of course, I missed. Load up for another one here. I absolutely did not miss that round. As you can see, we're jacking another round in. I need to turn the ammo off because I'm kind of cheating here. But uh, yeah, he gone. He is gone. So, I don't think we took a round, which is good. I don't see any damage. I have vehicle damage on as well, so. Um, I know he was shooting, but. You know what we're gonna do, though? I'm gonna turn this uh, override weather off and just let it. Uh, let it ride dirty here, so. I was not expecting to get attacked at this. Uh, this close to the base, so kind of had the cruise control on there, about screwed up. So glad that that one worked out. Oh, we have a ship. Now I can probably see him in the uh, Granny Sasquatch monitor. 
Oh, that will far. Range of 1700 meters, that's a pretty long shot. Going right over the top of him. Two ships. Kind of needed uh, naval reinforcements here. Barely over. Let's try this one. We'll go we'll get a shell jack in it. Didn't lead it enough. I start to shoot back now. A little bit over still. Was a direct hit. Oh, we have to reload. I went a little low. Oh, he's done. All right, we got a little closer threat here. Turret swung around. Range him by putting the crosshairs right on him. Thousand meters, eleven hundred maybe. Direct shot. Boom. Two ships down. <laughs> Go ahead and reload the gun. Um, the gun does automatically reload. I just am not holding the dang fire button down long enough to do it. So, we've got two shells left in the mag, so we're still looking pretty good in the rack, I believe. If we zoom into this, we should have quite a few shells left in there. Oh, yeah, lots. So, off we go. Another one, holy cow, they're mad. I can hit this one. Maybe. Can get a range on it. 1600 meters. Should be about right here. Ooh, very close.
reload the mag again. Eleven hundred meters. Maybe right over him and right in front of him. This is uh, not so easy to do. He's <laughs> getting close too. Direct hit, he's gone. All right, moving on. Well, there's a tank right there. That's a rock pile looking at there, and a tank right there. Potentially something there, but I can't really tell. So a tank right by the train building, and a tank right under the street lights over there. Let's see if we can pop it from this distance. Oh, this rainy Sasquatch. Range of 1200 meters. Should be somewhere in that area. Oh, we got a load of shell in. I guess we only have uh, three rounds left in this mag. Might hit a little long and a little smidge left. Or smidge right, I need to go a smidge left. Alright, we're gonna pull up a little bit. I can't see the targets. Just blew off that last round to reload my mag. Falling really short, so I'm not too worried about him targeting me all that well. I think I can actually see him now, though. Kinda. I think he's gonna be like right here. Eight hundred meters away. He's right in that vicinity. Oh no, he's to the right a little bit. Gone. Super zoom, but all you can see is pixels. So I know he's right under the street lights, 1200 meters away. Should put us right about here somewhere. Oh, I yoloed that right over. pivots make this difficult but to fine tune. Oh, come on. I 
think we hit him. Yeah, he's gone. All right, let's go uh, see if we get shot by anything else. Oh, there's a tank right there. I think. Get right, kid. See if we can. All right, you guys. Well, we are mission success in the Waffen Traeger E100, uh, oftentimes referred to as the Waffle Tractor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I appreciate you guys watching. The channel has been doing uh, pretty good lately, so. Um, it's really helpful when you guys uh, subscribe and keep watching and like and then uh, if you want to see more don't forget to ring the bell icon the little uh, notification bell because uh, you don't want to miss anything so appreciate you guys thanks for watching